but I've done it again on a dairy farm in Ayrshire. I just find this fascinating. This is all made and fabricated in their workshop. There's not another one like this. Farming, it's all about the lifestyle, isn't it? It's all about the lifestyle. <laughs> Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game, but I've done it again. We're in a dairy parlour on a dairy farm in Ayrshire. Now this came about by pure chance. I was scanning sheep just outside that far wall and I happened to have a look through and see this parlour and think I've never seen anything like this in my life and I wanted to get a look round it with the camera. So I asked the farmer, Tom, if we could have a look round. He said yes. I said, why don't you come and give me a tour for the camera? And he agreed somewhat reluctantly. So we had a tour round and it was going to be part of my scanning video. But when I saw it and saw how good it looked, I thought, let's make this its own video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the little tour I had with the farmer and then we're going to have a montage of me looking around the parlour and the cows being milked with some lovely background music. It'd be really interesting to hear what you think of this one. It's a little off piste for me, being a sheep man, but I just find this fascinating. If you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments and I'll ask Tom the farmer on your behalf and get back to you with the answers. As always, if you're new to the channel, please think about clicking the subscribe button. The numbers are growing really fast and it's really encouraging and I'm just loving making the videos. Also, you guys give me a thumbs up as well. It seems to boost the video massively. I don't know how it all works. Science. Let's have a look at the tour I did a few weeks back. Kids will like to see you at the telly, you better do it right. We would to show them. Louise will be like, you didn't even. Wait, I saved the boys around. Okay, good. Sink to wash in. Big tank. Quite lucky here, Tom's going to give me a tour. Says he's about to go on the camera right enough, but he'll love watching it back later. How many litres is in the tank? Uh, 10,000. 10,000? No, but it was 10,000. Is that a big tank? Have you put in a bigger tank anywhere? Do you, do you build parlours, Tay? Uh, I do so. So have you put in a bigger one? No. So it is a big one. You've just been modest. <laughs> <laughs> You've just been modest. And this, it was good because I was, I was asking some questions. Like, I showed you a quick glimpse of the parlour there when I walked through it. And I was asking, why is there no walls at the side here? Like, I'd never seen one open plan like this. They made it... Ra oh, of course. Oh, of course. I never even noticed that. Tom was just saying this is rapid exit, so if any of you dairy boys are watching, it's called the sheep game, so probably no dairy boys watching. <laughs> so anyway, rapid exit, obviously the cows get milked here, this lifts up, the cows just back out. 20 cows are just come out. 20 cows at a time, so 20, 20, is there 40 in here at one time? Yeah. So generally, I've, I've, I used to milk cows at a farm called uh, Moorfield in Comarnock. Oh aye. And that was just a standard nine aside, I think. But I don't know, swing over, how does that work then? You have to wait for the cow on that side to finish. Yeah. So that cow yeah. fetches fit next to your own? Yeah. Does that not make you all over the place? No, because the paddle is long enough. Right. You, you've no units on this side, which lets you prepare all this side. You're not going in, in, in between all the units. Ah, yeah, yeah. And because the paddle is long enough, the, the units are starting to come back off. And then you just go up and swing them it's over. It's such a big run that by the time you get to the bottom, Aye. they're finished melting. Yeah. Aye, I'm actually learning quite a lot here. I always thought swing over was like a slow way of doing it. But I realised when I seen this big yeah. modern paddler, it must be a good way. After 20 units instead of 40. So, aye, so you've, you have half the units to maintain, half the units to clean out at the end, less repairs. Although they're doing twice the work, right enough, but they're still, theoretically, it should be easier to look after half the amount. They're, you're keeping them working, they're not hanging up. Aye, they're never sitting down, nothing. Aye, aye, you've, uh, no, it's good. Tom made the point earlier, I was asking him about the fact that it's no walls, and the great thing about this system is when you're washing away here, there's no walls, so there's no corners. So there's no bits for the, the dirt to build up, so it keeps the thing spotless. And you can see looking about this, I said when I first did, the, the first little bit, it's probably the cleanest parlour I've ever seen. It's pretty incredible. So something, hey, it's a sheep game, but that's something quite different. Um, Tom actually builds your built, what's the company name? Uh, William Smith Engineering. This is all made and fabricated in their workshop. There's not another one like this. Oh, is there no? No. Right, okay, so this is totally your design. Aye, the only, we just bought the milking equipment for gear. Mm -hmm. The rest is all, is all made in, in our workshop. That's quite impressive. And I you, we're talking about these ventilation things, I mentioned it briefly. These are uh, your design. 
Fowler's design, yeah. Your Fowler's design, a cover, and I don't know, do we say too much about it? We don't want everybody <laughs> getting onto it. No, it's just... It's we don't want all you guys uh, copying this ventilation design, you know, you, you need to come to Tom if you want to shed with these slats. But it is very clever, they're obviously all on some sort of... It's just a handle, just a, it's just manual. Aye. And that one handle? Aye, one handle does half the building, the other handle does the other half. So it does, two handles for the whole thing, dead simple, up and down. And a few calf sheds with them now, so it's more probably popular in a calf house for ventilation. When they're sitting in straw bed when and all well, that? because the calves need good ventilation. Aye. So, but this... It lets a lot of light and everything in. Yeah, yeah. It does. The whole place feels very bright. It's a very clear. Well, it's almost. It's basically an open sided shed. How many cows are you milking here then? Both will ask that. Quid and dry crew is about 2.30. 2.30? And how long does it take to milk in this parlour? Well, 200 going through the parlour and we've washed up in two hours. Two hours. Milked, two washed up. Milk, washed up, back out the door, two hours. Two hours. No bad. Pretty good. So obviously, obviously you'll be the same as us, there's no money in it. <laughs> there's no money in it. Aye, poor like us. Aye. The dairy boys are just as poor as the, the sheep boys. Just bigger overdrafts to service lately. But it's some game. Farming, it's all about the lifestyle, isn't it? It's all about the lifestyle. Been able to do this on a beautiful winter's day. Let's get back to the scanning. So, you see what I mean? Really interesting stuff. Which is why I'm now here. And we're going to do this montage. Looking around the parlour a little bit closer. Here we go. Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in? All your hopes and efforts are all in vain. Does it all become for granted with a wedding?
So that's me finished here at the bottoms. Fantastic setup, as you saw there. Speaking to Tom, he's saying the key to this system is simplicity. Everything is designed to be as simple as possible, so there's less to go wrong, less costs. Even the setup you see here, it's just some steel. There's no fancy robotics or anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed that one. I certainly did. I found it absolutely fascinating. Let's finish off with seeing the cows get their just reward for their hard work. Cheers. Just the right amount of them. Eh? Yeah. Where's the point then? Eh? Mine. Wherever, wherever your, your chest is facing, that's where the camera is. Oh, so I've got to do that. Aye. Well, even that, that you might need to bend back a wee bit. Aye. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there. I thought I might get a you've been framed moment there. 